Alright YouTube, i got another video for you. Um, this video is going to be on the Hurley, oh, what do they call this case, I don't even know, Hurley Scramble iPhone 3G black case, I guess. It says Hurley Scramble, and I guess that's because Hurley is scrambled all over the case. Hold on. <coughs> oh, that was a weird voice I just made before that. Sorry. Um, so yeah. Um, 30 bucks Apple Store. My sister really wanted this case for her first generation iPhone. I know, you're saying... No, well, actually, you don't really know how old my sister is unless you watch my other video, but she's... I don't know, what is she? This is bad. She is... How can I not remember? Oh, yeah. She's 11. But this is a hand-me-down from my dad who has a 3G iPhone now. And... I don't know, I don't, kind of embarrassing, or I guess, yeah, that my sister has an iPhone, but, I don't know, whatever, but I told her, we'll go to the Apple Store, check it out, put it on your phone, see if it fits, I know it's for the 3G, but if it fits, we'll get it then, so we did, and it fit, and so we got it, and I don't really think it's worth 30 bucks, but... That's what she wanted, and she didn't really, she didn't have a case before, and it, this case, this phone is all scratched up and stuff on the back, so, it's really no big deal or anything, but okay, so I'll just put this phone to the side for a second, I'll use the 3G, um, it does, it's just a silicone case, rubber case for the 3G, black, um, it does have a little bit of overlay on the top, by the button, where it does have the Hurley symbol, and it does kind of has a cool, whoa, cool little design. Um, it does have lay on the table design, so you could just set it there, and not have to worry about it touching the screen. On the back, which is what this case is about, it has Hurley written all over it, but it's all scrambled, which is why it's called Hurley Scramble. And it does look cool. I will admit, like, I mean, I don't think I'd ever use it. Well, I probably would. It's kind of girly, but whatever. Girly cases, whoops. Girly cases usually attract attention, and I do like attention. Not to sound conceited or anything, but it's true. Um, this case to me feels like it was rushed during production or something because, I mean, there's flash everywhere on this case, and I mean, look here. Let's see. You probably won't be able to see it, but around here, around this camera hole, there is. The camera hole. Okay, listen to me. Around the headphone jack, there, it's not even, like, a hole. It's just kind of like someone took a knife and stabbed through it. It's it's that bad. But, and so is the, the ringer toggle switch right there. I mean, it's like someone just took a knife, sliced the hole, and spread it apart. That's what it looks like. But the camera hole is, it is, it's like the protective cover, which I do have right here. How it's got that little, like, incline down, decline, kind of like a good edge. It's it's there's no flash on that or anything. Um, there's flash all the way around the edge from, I guess, the molding process, um, and it's pretty bad too. But my sister really doesn't care, so that's really no big deal. And then down here on the bottom, which is a big complaint for me, is that it. The it doesn't. I don't know what am I trying to say? It doesn't. It covers up the home button, kinda. Which I mean, it shouldn't do. I mean, it does. I don't know. That's just kind of that's another example of rush design to me. It doesn't even cover the phone the correct way. It, it I mean, it's it's in the right spot every other place except for here. It covers the home button, so I mean that's kind of annoying. But. I know there are people out there that just do it because they want the look. That's all it is. They could care less about the protection of their phone or how much it costs. Doesn't matter. They just want the look. So, I guess this is that's what this case is for. It's not. It does have protection though. I mean, if you drop it, it's, look at that. It bounces. Yeah. Um. What what else is there to say on this case? Um. I don't think I would buy it again. Not for 30 bucks, at least. Maybe if it was 15, 
16 and I'll buy it but not for that not for the quality of this case I don't think it's worth thirty dollars um, everything's exposed I mean everything you can get to it's all easy to get to it's just like I said it's like a rush design it's not they didn't think through it so I did say that my sister has a first generation iPhone and that's what she uses it for so I'll take this out and show you that it does fit on the first generation iPhone um, it pretty much looks the same, I think. It just kind of... I don't, I don't know. It does look the same. It fits... The holes seem to be bigger on this. Like when you get to... The headphone jack and stuff. The holes seem bigger. But other than that, I mean... It fits the phone the same. It doesn't cover the screen or anything. And down here, the home button, same spot. I mean, it's covering the home. So, I don't know what's up with that. It all... Hold on, let me see. I haven't really checked this out. It does kind of... Kind of cover the speakers and the microphone, but... Not enough to affect it. Um... Everything's... Still exposed on this... This, so... Yeah, if you have a first-generation iPhone... Some cases... I'm not saying all cases, because I know... There's cases that don't work with the first-generation, but some cases, usually silicon cases cheaper cases like this not talking money cheap but cheaply made usually will fit on a, on a first gen and a 3G and you most likely most likely silicone cases or rubber cases uh, so yeah this is just a quick um, little review on what I my opinions on this Hurley Hurley scramble case for the iPhone 3G and, in my case, also the iPhone first generation. So, yeah, that's about all I have to say. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.